Hey there, Min here. So today I'm doing a video on the Photosport 3 bag follow-up. So previously I've done a Photosport 3 versus Photosport 2 bag in the previous video. If you want to see that video, check it out here. Okay, so I've been spending about a week in Canada and while I was in Canada hiking, I used my Photosport 3 bag, which was fantastic. It was nearly perfect uh, for, the, for the use case and so on. However, I want to talk a little bit about the good and the bad about this bag. Now, uh, number one, good. The requirement for my 70 to 200 lens with the extension uh, adapter and also the Fuji body, which I'm using to film right now, fits perfectly in this, this bag. Now, it bulges a little bit with the camera attached, but if I detach the camera, I can fit it in perfectly. It's secure, the whole process is great. The pouch here was great in loading up everything I need for my hike, uh, for my day hike. It was big enough to do so, and I have my uh, puffy jacket, plus my rain, cup, rain jacket, plus some food, plus whole bunch of things in here for the day hike is perfect. The water bladder was good. It was useful and carried about two liters of water in there. So it was great. Now, let's talk about what's bad about this bag. That so much so that I'm gonna look for another bag. One is, I broke it already. Um, doing the regular use, of this bag, this has a different drawstring than a typical drawstring where you have a push button on the plastic piece and then pull the and pull the piece toward the string, uh, pull the strings away, and then to tighten the tighten the uh, the sack. This has a, a a different method of doing so, and and it it broke just a regular use. I pulled it, and one of the string ends popped inside. I will have to return it and get it fixed. Second, I did say that this is pretty big for a day hike, but the problem is that means if I'm trying to get to that location, for example, going to Canada, um, I may be using this one single backpack for things beyond just for my day hike. So this was about perfect for the day hike, but I can't fit any more. Even though I do have ability to kind of stretch over it a little bit, um, it was really, really tight, almost too tight. So if I decide to go on a Japan trip and I only want to carry one backpack, this would be a very tight backpack to carry where any other backpack may give me a little bit more space. Third, the water bladder, which I already talked about in the previous video. The water bladder, is, the three liter water bladder just doesn't fit in here. So I, it's always a little bit less, but you know, it's still pretty good. I mean, the water bladder worked out well for me. And finally, the, the case, the camera case. This particular model versus this, the uh, version two of this model has a removable protection case, camera case. The removable case seems fantastic. You know, this could be using as a separate case that you can carry around, it even comes with a strap kit that allow you to just strap it onto the case and carry just the case around. It sounds like a great idea. But what I realized is I never used it. Throughout the whole week I was in Canada, I either carry the bag or just carry the camera and never have I taken just the case out and do so. And because of that, then I, I wonder how useful it is and why not just get the version two, which is a lot cheaper. And also the drawstring is more traditional and wouldn't break like this. Um, so all in all, I think my initial recommendation still stands is that if you don't have a specific need for the, the extra depth in the camera carrying case, then I would say go with the version 2, save you some money, and you'll be very, very happy. Okay, I hope this video was helpful. If it is, give me a thumbs up. And if you like this video, check out my other videos too and subscribe. Okay, I will see you next time. Bye.